With so many talented artists in our area, there's no shortage of great galleries and local pieces and plenty of opportunities to learn from the artists. We've got Abby Colton, a ceramicist, among other things, at Wild Hair Gallery and TR, teaches classes there and also through uh, Paradisu Pottery. Welcome. Yes, Glad hi. you're here. Thank you. Um, Thank you talk you about the me. excitement this time of year. Everybody's ready to get out, work on some art, enjoy the days, right? Absolutely, absolutely. The weather's getting more beautiful, the sun's out, and people want to have nothing to do with the indoors. Yep, and you are hosting you know as we look ahead to summer um, you're hosting a kids art class with wild hair we're gonna get yes. to the details of all those little offerings but first one of those classes they could spend a day doing a paint a plate painting yes. course. what happens yes. during that what can we learn here so uh, the paint your own plate class is where I'm gonna be teaching students how to just go about painting a piece of pottery. It's a little bit different than paper, so there's a little different thoughts that go into it. Okay, well, so that's what we're going to be doing today. What might, yeah, what might we learn about painting pottery? How's it different? How's so, it po so pottery painting, this is what we call glaze. And so glaze is, it goes on like paint, but when you fire it in the kiln, it turns into more of a glass substance. So mm -hmm. it creates a layer of glass over it. So today, you and me are decorating this um, lovely little Access Carolina plate. What's the plan? We're thinking spring. We're thinking vibrant okay colors so have at it flowers birds butterflies whatever you want I've got purple so I'm just gonna go in and do little flowers here and there um, and so this is basically what we'll be doing in class um, the lines are really just a little cursor for me to know where the middle was but um, yeah so stuff like this is what we're going to be doing in class and there's several other things that are going on um i went with the very bold and plain you know just going for a <laughs> solid i was just kind of color it because i wanted to see what other little animals i'm going to come across but you've okay. got it's really easy to do a, a a little flower a little butterfly yeah. what are some other little shapes you could dip in a brush and... um well there's some other ones like you know you could make a fruit bowl a fruit themed uh -huh. plate or whatever um, a lot of people like to go for more of, you know, hey, this is my favorite show. I'm going to do a SpongeBob plate. You know, just yeah. things like that um, are what people tend to go towards. They like to, uh, I see a lot of nature themes, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, just stuff like that. And in operating a little brush like this, you yeah. talk about the, the textures. If we put a couple of uh, shapes together, you're just making, mine aren't even distinguishable as flowers anymore. There's blades of grass maybe, yeah. right? Yeah, very easy. It's very intuitive. You just kind of let it flow and let the imagination run wild and just let what ha whatever happens, happens. Oh, I've, I've already going to ruin my quadrant of the plate, but I if you like make the, the rest quadrant. of it really pretty, it could just be kind of a square of sunshine. It's that, my interpretation yeah, 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 yeah. Of, of spring. It's meaningful this way. That's what I was thinking that was. Um, what kinds of kids are going to, uh, to come into this class and during their two hours, they're yes. going to create a masterpiece? What's that like for you to be able to guide them through that? Oh my gosh, guiding kids through the opportunity to learn about art and exploring something that they might not necessarily learn on a normal basis, it's the most gratifying thing ever. Um, and, you know, allowing us to be the opportunity to teach kids is just awesome. Yeah, and, and you see a really spark, whether it's kids, grown-ups, whoever's in your classes, people come in and they don't think that they're gonna be able to create much, and then their their eyes kind of get big and there's that pride, that light bulb goes off. You're inspiring the future artists, you think? Absolutely, absolutely. It's the best thing to see someone turn something from what they thought they couldn't do into a beautiful masterpiece, yeah. so and it's awesome stuff. And as we continue touching through that masterpiece, your child summer arts program classes start June 3rd, their weekly classes Monday Mondays through um, just every Monday, 10 yep. to noon. Yep. Um, some of those classes, you've got the watercolor, the sketching, uh, water uh, gradient bookmarks. Yep. There's one about distance and perspective to kind yes. of understand painting that building from far away. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah. taking one point and drawing stuff along the perimeter uh -huh. to give the effect of distance. And uh, jelly printing. What is jelly printing? Jelly printing, that's a new one. That's ex very exciting and fun. So you take a flexible slab of jelly, a gel slab, uh -huh. and you put paint and colors and textures on it and use that to kind of print onto paper. Okay. Yes, and you layer. 
And that's, you know, again, some, these are all in doses of a two-hour class that yeah. people feel like they learned a really cool skill. Yeah. And then there are some classes this month that you wanted to have on our radar, too. Right, right. So um, my main priority is wild hair, the Wild Hair Kids program coming up over the summer, and I'm so excited about that. But you can catch me all over TR doing several other, whether it's another pottery painting class uh -huh. or an actual hand-building class, you can catch me around Traveler's Rest at a few other Very places. Cool. And so many classes to, to take. It's just fun to look at the schedule and see what's going on. So if you want some inspiration, that's what you should do. Abby, thank you very much. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Wild Hair Gallery located at 212 North Points at Highway and Traveler's Rest, and people can sign up for those classes online. We'll have that info and the links on accesscarolina.com.